fucking did me at. <sighs> I'm not joking. I just want to talk to the people on the road. I don't give a crap about this person. <laughs> So, today is Sunday the 22nd of October. Good morning everybody. We are on our way to town. A minute, Mum, did you want to say something first? Good morning. We are on our way to town centre right now. Via your sister's minute. Yeah, we're going to go see my sister Emma for a minute. And then we're going <coughs> to actually go and look around for pumpkins so that we can redo the video from last year which was the DIY Moji pumpkins. That was almost a year ago now. Yeah. I can remember saying this will be the first tradition that we start. If we manage to find any bin liners in the shops, then I'm sure we can revisit some old Halloween costumes. <laughs> was there ever a photo of me taken in that bin liner <laughs> with my two full bags of sweets? I don't think so. I might have hated the whole trick-or-treating back then, oh, but I think did. I probably did like all the sweets afterwards. Oh, yes. You had uh, pillowcases, two full pillowcases. Two full pillowcases of yeah. sweets. <laughs> Five days to go until season two of Stranger Things. I can't wait. So which means it's out this Friday. One of the best things I've read all week is mm. that they, they are going to release them all at once. Mm. Because for a while I was thinking, if they release them weekly, mm. I just don't know if I'm going to manage because when we watched all of season one, they were all there. So you could literally just play one. And then I know, but there's something to look forward to, isn't there? Yeah, but at the same time, like <clears throat> series as good as that, they really understand cliffhangers, and they put on such a cliffhanger. I couldn't go. Th I just couldn't do my week. <laughs> I would have to just sit there in a ball until they brought out the next one. <laughs> Mum's just gone and got a straw so that she doesn't get all of this cream on her nose. That cream has dramatically dropped, hasn't it? It was like right the way up here when we yeah. first got it. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. There's the door by there, and here's the pumpkins. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, I guess, yeah. One. It's a petrifying medium pumpkin. Ah, there's one by you as well. Let's get a slightly bigger one. Oh, they're quite big. Yeah, that's around about the same size as last time, yeah. Hang on, wait, hang on. It's like, I got pumpkin all over me. I don't know if it's like starting to pour out. Does my hand smell a pumpkin? James, you stuck it right. <laughs> Yo, yo, this window lighting, it just makes me look very pale. Um, I can't believe it's 4.30 and the sun looks like it's already uh, starting to set. So we just got home not long ago and the Sunday roast is currently roasting. And you all would have seen about two weeks ago, I was editing the photos from my auntie Claire and Michael's wedding. Now they went up earlier this week, although I did say that I would show you them. Um, if you haven't seen them, if you did miss them, then they are up on my Facebook page now. I finished them earlier this week and then I went to go and see them. Go on to Facebook, search James Calder. It's pretty easy to find and then you can see the full wedding album for Claire and Michael slash at the Salvation Army and there is about 75 to 80 odd photos out of the 200 that I edited and then sat down and went through um, with the both of them. So yeah, that's up on my Facebook now if you want to have a sit down and flick through them. And actually, when I was editing those photos, I was asked to do an interview with Tressa magazine, which is, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, T-R-E-S-A, Tressa magazine. They are an online publication and we did a fun little interview where they asked me about 10, 12 questions, some of which I have been asked before, like what do I enjoy most about vlogging and the kind of events like Summer in the City. There was one, what was it, describe the relationship between you and your mum, which I thought this is my opportunity now. My mum always says nice things about me when I turn the camera on. She always says something nice about me and then as you've seen by now, I don't really know what to say. I thought this is gonna be my opportunity um, to say something nice back. I thought this is my opportunity just to say it like it is now. And there was another question in there which I don't think I've ever actually been asked before in any 
past Q&As that I've done with my mum, which was why I actually got started with YouTube. So that is actually been published now, it came out on Thursday. I will leave a link for that down below if you would like to go have a read of the article. Um, here is the question they asked about Mama Calder. Your mum appears in a lot of your vlogs. How would you describe your relationship? And I just straight up said in one sentence, in five words, my mum is my rock. I'm probably biased but she's the most selfless and unconditionally loving person you could imagine. She was a social carer for my sister, Emma, for the first 34 years of Emma's life, until 2014 when my mum transitioned into elderly care. My mum retired this year, and now if we're not travelling somewhere to film a fun video together, then we're chilling with a movie or nattering away in a coffee shop, which we did this morning. Take that, mum! See how you respond to the love comments because I'm, I'm not really about distracts or drama or anything like that but let's see how you respond to that, that love. Okay, other than photos of people being in love and interviews, I love you Frank. Back to last week when this arrived, this was mum's 60th birthday, it is a custom puzzle because we've been looking around for a puzzle for quite a long time and I said we'd do it in this week's vlog now so gonna have to go and check on the Sunday roast a moment. Hopefully the kitchen hasn't completely burned down a moment and then we can eat that, probably be involved in some kind of food coma then for a good hour or so. But then Mum and I are gonna sit down and make a start on this puzzle. It is 200 pieces. I haven't done a puzzle since I was fairly young and I can't remember how long they take to do like a standard 200 puzzle. So it'd be nice if it, all, it was all done in this vlog, but really don't know how long it takes. Have you got a drink? I'm, I've just had a cup of tea, though. You ready? Yeah. So we've got a 200 piece puzzle. I did say earlier on, I really don't know how long it takes to do puzzles. Ages. So I haven't done one in so long. Ages. You could be looking for one piece out of all 200 for quite a long time. This isn't going to be done within the next 10 minutes. Ah, oh, there was me saying there's a, there's a possibility it could be done at the end. Or not. Let me just move the camera a bit because it's cutting both of our heads. Do so you need that to look at? First of all, <laughs> it's best to get all the end pieces. So mm. you've got to mm. sort out all the end pieces there. Oh, we've got a lot of blue pieces. <laughs> no, I've only noticed this, right? With the jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. When you get to the end, there's always one piece missing. They better yeah. mind it isn't. Right. But it's always <coughs> the last piece. Yeah. They better mind it isn't. See you soon. Bye. Right, so they're not end pieces. Keep them over here. So a five minute one. This, is, this has to be out of all of it. My favourite piece by here. What is it? Your two eyes and the, your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put it on a board, don't you? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at puzzles. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Oh, something we should say. James, um, will you get the end pieces out, please? The bad throat. <laughs> the bad throat that I had, what, about three or four weeks ago? Yeah. That has been passed down throughout the family. Um, I don't know, Mum wasn't feeling too well last week. But she got a bit of mucus in her oh, throat Oh, thanks. Now. Tell everybody. Don't. <laughs> will you stop filling with it? <laughs> I literally haven't done anything yet. You were, you were seriously winding me up. <sighs> I'm not joking. I just want to talk to the people on the road. I don't give a crap about this puzzle. James. I don't see how everyone's doing. <laughs> James, don't put that the window. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. We should do puzzles more often. Oh, we got another pile starting by here. <laughs> yeah. So what do, you think you, do you think you can find the end pieces? Right, that? None of these are end pieces. You don't know that. I've just looked at them all. <laughs> I have Spock like vision. Jay. <laughs> I can look at something for a second and analyze James, whether this is. Well like... I can see an end piece already. I can see yep, two. That's a corner that and is. Is one. I think we should get like a montage or something and then we'll put like all the corners together and then we'll show you the progress. Let me tell you something that, that we've made. It's not gonna be as quick as that even. Watch me. All right, we've got a converse in place. <clears throat> there we go, this is the size of the puzzle. We've finally put all the edges together. 
I reckon your face goes around about by here. And that's good as done, that is. <laughs> On a serious note for a moment, how many YouTube videos have you seen where there is one or more people putting a puzzle together? If the answer is not many, this is why. Because you really do need to concentrate. It's like, all right, so there's a darker tree at the top, so all the darker objects must be near the top. Do you want to see if you left any side pieces in the pile below? <laughs> if I left any side pieces. Yeah, whilst I was trying to construct this in my mind. James, don't tell Fibs left. Don't touch these, don't touch them. Let's do another montage then. <laughs> Yay! Right. Yay. <laughs> okay, last thing we're gonna do for today is separate me and my my favourite Top Man t-shirt and my favourite Top Man jeans and then Mum, so Mum's wearing a black coat. We're gonna separate those two and I think that... No. <laughs> and then we're hopefully going to finish the puzzle for next week then. That's a finger which I need to put by my face. That's like the so. handbag down by there somewhere. Right, we're going to end the vlog here. Um, quickly, before we go, just going to show you the pumpkins that we bought. Oh yeah! For the DIY emoji pumpkin video. We're just going to grab those. Yeah, I forgot about them. So these are our two pumpkins. Mm -hmm. That we're going to do emojis on them again. Not quite sure. I don't know, might do something a bit different. Maybe a bit of carving as well. Yeah. Full on DIY project. Oh, I've almost completed my face. <laughs> right, that is the vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you again very, very soon. Let's hope we actually, let's hope, oh god, oh god. <laughs> let's uh, hope we manage to finish the puzzle for next week. See you soon, bye. Bye. Let me focus on. You're not being sensible now. I was, I, I was gonna move them. <laughs>